Hey guys, so what we will be looking at today is the ultimate Outlook Assistant that can create events, delete events, get events, update events, send emails, reply to emails, create drafts, delete emails, get emails, create folders, folder emails and get folders. I will first show you a few demos on how this agent works and afterwards I will show you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can create this workflow yourself. Can you create an event with the title meeting, the start time at 4 p.m. and the end time at 6 p.m.? Can you also send an email to swinformation0 at gmail.com with the subject meeting and the body should be meet from 4 to 6 p.m. Now we will run the workflow. So here the audio will get transcribed and it will get sent to the AI agent and he will create an event and will create an email. In our calendar we can see that the event is being created with the title meeting and with the start time at 4 p.m. and the end time at 6 p.m. And in our Outlook email we can also see that we have sent an email to SW information with the body meeting at 4 p.m. Can you actually shift this event one hour forward? Okay now we can run the workflow and then we can see that the update tool also works. So here it will update it and and then we can look in our calendar that the event has been shifted one hour forward. So it's now from 5 to 7 p.m. instead of 4 to 6 p.m. Can you give me my calendar for today with all of my free time slots? With this, we get all of the events that we have on our schedule for today. And it will also give us the free time slots with the spaces left. So we can send a message in Telegram. Here we can see we have a scheduled event with the title meeting. The start time is 5 p.m. and the end time is 7 p.m. Our free time slots are from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. and from 7 p.m. to the end of the day. And we can also look at our calendar and here we have the meeting. That's the only thing on our schedule and it's from 5 to 7 p.m. We also have a delete tool in this agent. So we can say, can you delete the event meeting from our calendar? Then we will run the workflow and then it will delete the event from our schedule. So it will get events, then it will delete the event. And we can look in our calendar and the event has been deleted. We are in our Outlook inbox and we can see that we have received an email from SW Test with the body, hey Sale, how are you doing? Then we can say, can you respond to the latest email from SW Test saying that I'm doing fine? And can you also folder this email as important? Then we can go to edit and test the workflow. And then we can see that it will first get all of the emails. Then it will reply to the email and then it will folder the email as important. Then we can look in our Outlook. We already see that the email has been removed from our inbox and it has been shifted to important. So here we have our email. So the email is, hey Sale, how are you doing? And in our send items, we can also see that we have sent an email back. Can you create a draft with the email swinformation0 at gmail.com with the subject meeting and with the body should we meet at 4 p.m.? So now we are creating a draft. We can go to edit and test the workflow. It will get, uh, transcribe the audio, get sent to the AI uh, agent, and then we'll create a draft. Now we can look in our Outlook, we go to our drafts and here we can see that we have created the draft with the email SW information and the subject meeting and the body should we meet at 4 p.m. Now the last thing left is creating a folder and getting all of our folders. So we can say, can you create a new folder with the title test and can you also give me all of the folders that I have created? So we can send this message, go to edit and test the workflow. Here we can see that there a folder will be created in create folder and we will get all of our folders. So we'll first look in Outlook to find our new folder. Folder. Here we can see test the folders being created and then we can go to telegram to check all of the folders that we have created so far And here we can also see that test has been added and these are all of the folders that we have So now let me show you guys how you can create this workflow yourself Okay, so we are in edit and and the first thing that you will do is a telegram message on trigger So in a telegram trigger the first thing that you will do is add your credential So you will press on create new credential open the docs and edit and as an explanation here of how you can create this one Or if you already have your credential then you can just select it. The trigger on will be a message and this makes sure that you can receive all kinds of messages so text and audio. The next node will be a switch node and here we will decide if it is a text or an audio message. So in the switch node we will do mode rules and then we will create two routing rules and the first routing rule will be the audio and the second one will be the text and for the audio message you will drag in the voice file id and the voice file id can be found in the schema and you can drag it in with a voice and you will drag it in this data input field and then you will do a a string and this will be on exist and for the next routing rule we will create the text so for the text you will do json.message text and you will put this behind it you can copy it and you will also do the string on exist i also renamed the outputs i renamed it to audio and text but this is not necessary after the switch node we have two routes so the first route will be audio and the second route will be text and for the audio we will do a telegram get file and here we will download the voice file id so in the download file you will add your credential you will put resource on file and open operation will be get and here you will also insert the voice file id so you go back to the schema and you will drag the 
voicemail ID in this input field. And then you will turn on download. So I will flick on this switch. Then you will add an OpenAI whisper model and this will transcribe the audio message. Here we will add our credential. Then you will put the resource on audio. The operation will be transcribe recording because it's obviously a recording. And the input data field name will be data. And after that, the transcription will get sent to the AI model. So for the text route, we only have an edit field. And in this edit field, we basically make the output of the audio message and the text message the same so we can send this data to our AI model. So in edit field, we will do mode manual mapping, fields to set will be text, then it will be a string and it will be json.message text. So the next node will be our AI agent. And the first thing that we will do is connect our model. So the model that I chose is OpenAI GPT-40 mini, but you can also choose the other one. And I also added some window buffer memory. And this makes sure that our agent can memorize some of our latest messages that we have already sent. In our AI agent, we've put the agent on tools agent. And then the prompt is the JSON text. And we can drag this from the schema into this data input field. And what I just said with the edit field and with the transcribe audio, that is the same. This is what I meant. So the JSON.txt will also come from the edit field, but you can also pick it from transcribe. So now it doesn't really matter which one you choose. The system message from this AI agent is role. You are an email management assistant responsible for handling emails professionally. Only emails must be formatted in HTML and sign off as SIL. So SIL is obviously going to be your name. And then the task is manage emails efficiently using the appropriate email management tools based on user request. Then we also gave it some instructions to make the output of the AI agent more accurate. We gave it some rules and we said that here is the current date time, and this is going to be now. The first tool that we have added is a create event tool. So you're gonna add a Outlook create an event. And in this Outlook tool, you will first add your credential. So if you don't have your credential yet, you can create new credential, open the docs and edit and we'll explain it there, how you can create it. Tools description will be on set automatically and the resource will be event and operation create. The calendar will be the calendar where you wanna add events on. And then the title will be from AI title. And what from AI does, it is basically going to use the brain power of the LLM tool to configure all of the data input fields. So for the start time, we will do from AI start, and then the end time will be from AI end. This will be the start time of the event and the end time of the event. This workflow will also be free to download. So you can go to the description, download the file and import it into your NNN, and then you can use this workflow yourself. And if you like this video so far, then do not forget to subscribe. So the next tool will be a delete tool. And with this tool, we can delete our events from our calendar. So in the delete tool, you got to add your credential, put the resource on event and the operation on delete because we want to delete events and then add your calendar. For the event, we're going to do by ID and then we will do from AI ID and we have a little description behind it. So it knows what it has to do with this ID and how to find it. The next two will be get events and with get events, we can get all of the events from our calendar that we have. So in the get events tool, you will add your credential, put the resource on event and the operation will be get many. Then I have turned off from all calendars, but if you do want to get all of the events from all of your calendars, then you can turn this on. The calendar will be the calendar that you want to get your events from and then return all I have turned off, but you can also turn this on if you like. The next tool will be update event. And with this tool, we can update the events from our calendar. And in the update tool, you're going to add your credential and then the resource will be event and operation operation will be update because we obviously want to update the events. Now for event, you will do by ID. And then this expression behind it is basically the same expression as the delete tool. And for the end start and title, these are the same expressions for the create tool. So you can just copy and paste it in this tool from your create and your delete tools. The next tool will be a send email tool. So with this tool, we can send emails to people. In the send email tool, you're going to add your credential, put the resource on message and the operation will be sent. Then two will be from AI email receiver. So this will be the person who is going to receive the email. Then the subject is going to be from AI subject. And this will be the subject of your email. And then the message will be from AI email body. And this will be the body of your email. And the last thing that you will do in your send email tool will be uh, turning on additional fields. And the additional field that we're going to add is message type. And this message type is going to be text. The next tool will be reply email. And with this tool, we can reply to emails that we have received from people. So in this tool, you got to add your credential and then the resource will be on message and the operation will be reply because we want to reply to people's emails that we have received. The message will be by ID and then you will do from AI message underscore ID. Then reply to sender only will be turned off. 
then the message will be from AI email body and this will be the body of the reply that you are going to send. The next tool will be create draft and with this tool we can create draft emails. So in the create draft tool you will add your credential, put the resource on draft because we want to create a draft and an operation create. And for the subject, we will do from AI subject, and this will be the subject of your draft. The message will be from AI email body, which will be the body of your draft. And then the additional fields, we will do message type on text. The other additional field is to, and this will be from AI email receiver, and this is going to be the person's email that you wanna send the draft to. The next tool will be delete emails, and with this tool, we can delete emails from people and from our inbox. So in the delete tool, you will add your credential, put the resource on message, and the operation will be delete. And then the only thing that you have to add in the delete tool is from AI message ID. And this will be the message ID of your email. The next tool will be get emails. And with this tool, we can receive the latest email from our inbox, but we also need it for other tools. So here we can see that we also needed it to delete emails. So then it will first get all of the emails to look which email it has to delete. Um, and then we can delete the email. So it is necessary for other tools and you can also get the latest emails from your inbox. In the get emails tool, you're gonna add your credential. You're gonna put resource on message. The operation will be get many because you wanna get many emails and the limit will be 20, but you can also return all so you can get all of the emails that you want. Then the output will be simplified and we're gonna add some filters. The first filter is received after and this will be from AI received after. The second filter will be received before and this will be from AI received before. And then the third filter will be sent Sender, and this will be from AI email search because you want to search the email from the sender. So the next tool will be create folders. And with this tool, we can create folders in our Outlook. So in the create folders tool, you got to first add your credential, put the resource on folder and the operation will be create because we want to create a new folder. Then the name will be from AI label name. And this will be the name of the folder that you want to create. The next tool will be folder emails. And with this tool, we can folder emails in certain folders. So as I just showcased you guys in the demo, I have foldered an email in the important folder. In the tool, you got to first add your credential. The resource will be message and then the operation will be move because you want to move an email to a folder. The message will be by ID and then we'll do from AI message underscore ID and then the parent folder will be important and that's the folder that I want to move my emails to. The last tool will be get folders and with this tool we can get all of the folders that we have created for so far. So in this tool you will add your credential, put the resource on folder, operation on get many and then return all will be on because you want to return all of the folders that you have created. Then the last thing that we have to do is send the message back to our telegram with the output of our agent. So you will do a telegram send a message and in the telegram send a message you will first add your credential and then the resource will be on message, operation will be on send message and then a chat ID can be found by going back to the schema all the way back to your telegram trigger and then here you can see chat and then you can see the ID and you will drag it into the input field and then the text will be on JSON output and this will be the output of our AI agent so you will drag this in your input field and then your telegram send a message will be set up. This was the workflow. If you have any questions about it, then leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video.